A robot that can mirror your exact movements but with incredible strength and dexterity. Utah's premier robot builders have come up with yet another machine that could change the way humans work in dangerous environments. New specialist Ed Yates jumps on board. In the field of robotics, this is the ultimate dream that someone like myself could step on board and with no training at all could mesh with the feeling and the actions of the robot. Standing on its platform, this machine mirrors everything I do with my arms, wrists, and shoulders. As Fraser Smith describes, every way you move, your three degrees of freedom in your wrist, the one in your elbow, and the three in your shoulder, these slave arms can move the same way you do. They translate my movements with what is called force reflection in the hands of the robot, now part of this modified ditch witch. I have remarkable strength and agility depending on what's needed to fulfill the task at hand. But anything that slave encounters in terms of force is also fed back to the operator, so he actually can feel what's happening in the workspace. Teleoperating sophisticated robots is not new to Raytheon Sarcos. Sarcos engineers have been researching these systems for years. This exoskeleton, as it's called, mirrors the movements of its human operator, who in this case actually encases himself in the innards of the machine. As we reported in 2007, the exoskeleton someday might give a soldier more protection, strength, and endurance while in combat. Robots continue to capture our imagination. This new fictional movie called Real Steel dramatizes how humans train machines to fight like boxers in the ring. Smith says while not teaching them to remember, the technology for teleoperating such robots is already here. In the real world, though, engineers see these robots not as entertainers, but as helpmates in the workplace to keep humans out of harm's way. Imagine assembling heavy pipe like this to pull radioactive water away from a damaged nuclear power plant. Things like Fukushima or Three Mile Island or Chernobyl uh, is, is pretty tantalizing in as much as uh, there's no reason to have the type of risk that people currently encounter. The robotic arms can be built to stretch at any length and if needed, the human could operate the machine remotely away from the hazardous site. Those same controls that you are using on there to, to do the dexterous tasks can be taken off of the machine and relocated in a room five miles away. In place of magnet hands to move tons of steel, robotic fingers could do delicate work with tiny materials. Versatility is what this thing is all about. In any heavy application, human strength would no longer be required as a prerequisite for the job. This opens up a lot of jobs to women that would otherwise be closed just based on strength issues. It's a real equalizer. Man or woman could work an eight-hour day muscling heavy stuff and never come home exhausted. Ed Yates, KSL News. Sorry, they will not be on store shelves for Christmas. Raytheon Sarcos prototype put on quite a show before an enthusiastic gathering of workers during a recent demonstration at the Newport News shipyard in Virginia. Ski Resort